Now, I don't normally uh, pick fights at the right. I mean, after all, broadly speaking, I'm on the right. And it's kind of bad form when in battle to be shooting inside the tent. So, fair warning, if you happen to be on the right, and let's face it, you probably are if you listen to me, you might not like what I have to say. And that's just too goddamn bad. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it. It all started with this uh, post by Congressman Thomas Massey, where he uh, says that it's always been legal for people to make their own guns in America, and that a, uh, an executive order from Joe Biden banning these so-called ghost guns is all about revoking the means of its citizens to ever challenge the government's authority. Now, i got to say, I like Thomas Massey. I'm a supporter of the Second Amendment, but I just think he's flat out wrong. I think he's living in fantasy land. And I tried to point this out in a subtle way with my comment here. Well, there is that standing army thing. I don't think your ghost gun is much of a threat. Well, this set off a shitstorm of counter comments, starting off with uh, Brian Kelly, who says, laughs in Vietnamese. Now, the implication there is that uh, you know, because Vietnam ejected the U.S. Army, why can't these brave 3D ghost gun printing patriots do the same? And people piled on with also laughs in Arabic and Pashtun. And Jessica here expressed her disbelief that I was so unaware of how the American founding took place. And it goes on, Josh says, it's like I never picked up a history book. Wow. Well, I wasn't going to respond. I mean, I didn't respond, not on the thread at least. I mean, because I like these guys. I like their spirit. But you know, spirit isn't enough. And I take accusations of ignorance as a challenge. So, let the smackdown begin. First, let's start off with the history. The American army in Vietnam was not a standing army. They were an invading, foreign, occupying, uninvited, and unwanted military force that was resented by a very large number of patriotic Vietnamese. Same was true of the Afghans, the Iraqis. Hell, even the American Revolution. For once independence was declared, the fight was against foreign occupiers, the British regulars, and Hessian mercenaries. Not the revolution's own sons and daughters. That battle was to eject foreign forces. But that is not the situation in America today. Not even close. You know, in 75, when the U.S. was finally sent packing from Vietnam, and there's the famous scene of the helicopter evacuation from the embassy roof. Well, in current day America, where is the American army going to be sent packing to? What are they going to all do? Fly to Alaska? Hawaii? Oh, maybe they'll make the independent republic of Taiwan. I, give me a break. It's not going to happen. In the present day, America has been occupied by itself. Now, of course, there's no ongoing visible sign of this occupation. It's not needed for the most part. But an important clue was dropped in the aftermath of the recent Capitol building riots. The National Guard was deployed, and any supposed insurrection was over. Over, as Colonel, John, as Colonel Troutman would put it. It's over, Johnny. Why? It's not just a matter of firepower or even willpower. It's because the vast majority of patriotic, gun-owning, internet tough guys love the U.S. military. Just as they love the flag, they love the anthem, they back the blue, and they thank military members for their service. They love to chant, USA. They're not going to rebel against what they love. You know, it's a mass case of Stockholm Syndrome. And this standing army is made up of people they know, after all. They're friends, relatives, neighbors, sons and daughters. Maybe you yourself are a part of it. The internet tough guys are no more going to rebel against this standing army than they're going to shoot themselves in the face. That is what makes the current situation not like Vietnam, Afghanistan, or revolutionary America. You know, it's one thing to read a history book and 
quite another to understand it. And in this present day, the internet tough guys in their closet full of pop guns aren't going to do anything. However, that god-awful military force ruled over by a bunch of nincompoops will be deployed against you if and when those nincompoops feel any threat whatsoever. Check me. You know, millions of gun-owning Americans believe it was this past election was stolen, fraudulent, a coup d'etat. Maybe you believe so. Now isn't that cause for rebellion? And what did you do? Besides posting Second Amendment memes on Facebook, you did nothing. Once the National Guard was rolled out, nothing was done by anyone. Standing Army 1, Internet Tough Guys 0. And then, to add insult to injury, people bragged about doing nothing. You know, like, look, there's no insurrection. We support the USA. We're good patriotic Americans. Oh, fireworks right on time. But, you know, the left may be a bunch of retards rioting and burning the cities down, but at least they're more than just talk. Now please, please, tell me the conditions under which the internet tough guy militia is going to rise up to overthrow a tyrannical government. Tell me! Fraudulent election? No. Millions of people pouring across the border? No. Government spending to the moon? No. Taxes on your income, property, sales, gasoline, fishing, carbon, capital gains, driving, alcohol, soda, stamps, air travel, health care, on and on and on. No. How about a communist takeover of media, academia, education, corporate HR departments, government agencies, big tech, and the military? No. Oh, oh, wait. How about a complete lockdown of society? forbidding you to work, putting your neighbors out of business, into bankruptcy, forbidden to go to church, or even to visit your dying grandma in the hospital. No. You know, when the U.S. Army shows up at your door to forcibly vaccinate you and your children with God knows what, you'll roll up your sleeve and salute the flag. When Sharia law is declared, you'll stock up on ammo and enjoy some halal pork. When the UN is declared the new governing power, you post a meme on Facebook about how the Second Amendment isn't just for hunting deer. Oh, glory, we've been saved. You know, the sad truth is, there are no conditions under which this fantasized rebellion will take place. Y'all ain't got what it takes. You're not the founders, the Afghans, or the Spartans, much less John Rambo. And the next time you tempted to compare yourselves to the Viet Cong, you better put the chopsticks down and apologize. You know, even if you were John Rambo, a pack of lone wolves is not going to get the job done. That's not the nature of the battle. Seriously, think about it. Let's suppose that the patriotic militia marched to Washington, took over the Capitol building, the White House, and the Pentagon. So what? These are just buildings. They do not confer a magical transformation of power. If they did, that guy with the buffalo hat would now be Speaker of the House. There are no magic buildings, magic chairs, magic flags, or magic anthems. That is an illusion, a circus. And you all are a bunch of clowns driving around in clown cars, waving your guns and trying to convince yourself you're qualifying for the Daytona 500. You're not. Oh, sure. Post another meme on Second Amendment that isn't for hunting deer. Go down to the range and pop off a few rounds. Buy yourself some new camouflage pants at Walmart. Yeah, here they are popping up a few rounds right now. And then, do nothing. While freedom is destroyed step by step, you'll continue to stand idly by. Secure falsely in the fantasy that one day you'll do something. You won't. Your Second Amendment fantasy is what enables the destruction of freedom to proceed. And the powers that be know it. 
As long as you're allowed to maintain this fantasy that one day you'll do something, you never will. The fantasy is enough. You know, the Founding Fathers were very much against maintaining a standing army and for very good reasons. And that reason has arrived. Now, just to reiterate, I support the Second Amendment. I support your right to own and bear arms, to protect yourself and your family. Hell, even to overthrow a tyrannical government. But supporting an idea and actually relying on it are two very different things. To actually rely on it is to surrender in advance. This battle will be fought elsewhere. You know, you all act like you're John Rambo, but it's the end of the movie, Johnny, and I'm here to break the bad news. Look at him out there. Look at him! If you don't end this now, they're gonna kill you. Is that what you want? It's over, Johnny. It's over!